Today we're going to make chicken soup, but not just any chicken soup. We're going to make fricot. Fricot is a technique for making chicken soup that comes from the Acadian. Basically, we're going to poach chicken, and then we're going to take that chicken out of the poaching water. We're going to use that poaching water as our stock, and then we're going to add vegetables and the chicken back into that stock. Uh, it's very simple. It's basically a one pot technique. We have a chicken here and we're going to put the chicken in the pot. We're going to salt the chicken. Then we're going to rough cut some vegetables. It's not really important which vegetables you use traditionally uh, around here this time of year. This is winter time in New Brunswick, Canada. It's pretty cold. So we're sort of limited to root vegetables or vegetables that we took from our garden and froze. Carrots, onions, garlic, and a bit of rosemary. And then I've got some aromatics that I'm gonna use as well. You could use potatoes in this. You could use turnips in this. You could use whatever you like in this. But I'm gonna use these leeks. I'm gonna just take this and rough cut it. And I'm gonna add these leeks. I'm also gonna take some carrots. And I'm just going to rough cut this. These carrots are clean, but I didn't peel them. You can peel them if you like. But again, we're just making a stock around the chicken, so it's not super important. I've got an onion here. I cut this onion into quarters, throw it in the pot. I have some garlic. And all I'm going to do with this garlic is I'm just going to cut the top off to reveal a bit of the garlic, and I'm going to throw that whole clove right in there. Have some celery. I'm just going to rough chop this celery. I'm going to put it in here with the rest of the stuff. And I have some celery leaves, and I'm going to add these celery leaves now. I like to use the celery leaves because they are stronger, and they add a lot of that celery flavor to the broth. And now I'm going to add some spices, some aromatic spices to this. I'm going to add a cinnamon stick. I'm going to add some whole peppercorns. I'm going to add some cloves, some allspice berries, three star anise. I'm going to use a sprig of rosemary. I have a rosemary plant from the garden that I brought inside and it's doing okay. And I have a sprig of rosemary. Now I'm covering the chicken with water. I'm going to put my lid on and now we're going to cook this. While the chicken is simmering, we're going to chop up the vegetables that we're going to add later to finish the soup. Okay, so we probed our chicken and it was at 74, 75 degrees, which is where we would like it to be. So now we're going to remove it from the pot. It still has the string on it, which is helpful for getting it out. And I'm just going to move this chicken over here. In the pot, we have our vegetables and our aromatics. And now we want to just remove those from the stock. I have a small strainer here and a cambro and I'm just going to pour this. Now we have our chicken stock and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it aside. Okay, we got an empty pot. So we're just gonna throw a knob of butter into my melted butter. I'm gonna start adding my vegetables. I'm gonna start with the, the onions. I'm gonna throw the leeks in there too. All we're gonna do with the onions and leeks is we just wanna sweat them. Uh, I'm gonna add a bit of the salt that I have in now because that'll help sweat the onions and bring out some of the flavor. My onions are translucent now, so I'm going to add all the rest of my vegetables, my carrots, my peppers, and my celery, all in there. Just going to stir that in. Now I'm going to add some more salt. I like to add salt every step of the way. Uh, I've got some pepper. I like pepper, so I'm going to add quite a bit. The only other herb I'm going to add at this time is summer savory. And summer savory is a really common ingredient in Acadian cooking, and it's in everything. In goes the summer savory. Add the stock back in. So this is the base of our soup now. We've got our vegetables in here. We have the stock that we poached the chicken in. And so we're going to take our chicken apart, and we're going to put it in here. I'm just going to peel the skin right off. Going to use a little petty knife here. You want to be careful not to get any bones in. Going to use some tongs. 
I'm just going to put this meat right in the soup. You can break it up a little if you want to, or you can have big hunks. It's kind of like a stew. You want to be careful not to get any of the wishbone in there. Chicken is in the soup. So I'm just going to cover this up and let it simmer a little while. Let everything sort of come together. And while that's simmering, we're going to make some dumplings to put into the frico. Two cups of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, about two tablespoons of salt, the more summer savory. And then I'm just going to use two cups of the stock or the broth from the chicken as my liquid. Just going to mix all this together. So now we have a a pretty simple dumpling dough or batter. I'm just going to spoon these guys in. Nothing too fancy or too elegant. Lid goes back on. We'll wait 15, 20 minutes to let everything come together to cook those dumplings. And then we're ready to plate. Okay, let's plate this up. I think what we'll do is we'll get some of the chicken and the vegetables out first. Pour some of the broth over top. We're going to need a dumpling on there. And this is it. Let's give it a taste. It's good. It has lots of flavor. You want to make this chicken frico, Acadian chicken frico.